Sorry guys, something very exciting is about to happen. I'm about to receive a call from a journalist who works for the CBC, the Canadian Broadcasting Company. I'm about to have an interview about Study With Me videos. And I've got two cameras set up here, so I can include them in the vlog. I'm really excited, I'm really nervous. I'm gonna get a call any minute now. That is the call. Hello? Thank you, you too. Bye bye. Uh, My first interview went very well, went very well. Spoke eloquently, I was calm, I was relaxed. Can't wait till it comes out, can't wait to share it with you guys. Oh. So, guys, check this out. The huge study with me video that I did last week, I ended up recording 600 gigabytes of footage for that, which is just absolutely insane. And by the time I was done editing it down, it was 100 gigs. And just for reference, my normal videos are somewhere between two to eight, two to 10 gigabytes. And then through the magic of compression, I got it down to 10 gigs without actually losing that much quality. So, but anyways, just wanted to show you that. I thought it might be interesting. Today, on top of my normal USMLE studying that I'm currently doing, I'm actually giving a presentation on personal statements and how to manage stress in medical school. So I've already done one of these before. I did it last year and it was a lot of fun. I got to interact with a lot of you guys. I'm really excited to do it. I'm getting a little bit nervous now, not gonna lie. Doing things live is kind of scary. With these videos, I can really control everything. I can do 10 takes of the same sentence and then I can edit the video in any way that I want. Whereas when I'm doing something live, it's a little bit more nerve wracking because you can only have one chance to say something, right? So anyways, I'm just gonna keep studying for another hour or so, and then I think it's my turn to start talking. So yeah, gonna study a bit more and then get started with this speech. I've got my setup over here. Let me turn on this camera so that you guys can see as well. I've got my laptop in front of me with my notes on the top half of the screen and then the slides and the interface on the bottom half. But yeah, let's do it. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yes, okay, fantastic. My name is Nasser. I'm now a third year medical student at King's College London. Thank you guys very much for listening to this talk. Thank you for participating. Thank you, thank you, thank you, bye. What's up guys? Quick little update. I am at my standing desk just going through some questions from the cardiology section and making my active recall notes on Notion over here. I'll go into that in another video in the future. But today I've decided to track how many cups of coffee and tea I'm drinking by actually leaving the mugs on my table. Because I usually use the same cup all day and I just refill it, refill it, refill it. So I don't really get a good sense of how much coffee and tea I'm drinking. I'll check in with you guys at the end of the day so that we can do a count. All right guys, we have made it to nighttime. It is 9.30 p.m. and I'm gonna stop studying now. I've just been banging through sketchy medical sketches. Honestly works very well for memorizing micro. This is what my notes look like. In before you guys leave me a comment telling me about how messy they are. But anyways, the reason for picking up the camera, seeing how much coffee and tea I had today, got two, four, six, seven. So I think six to eight is a pretty good estimate and I think that's quite accurate for what I would drink day to day. But anyways, happy I did it. Gave me a little bit more insight and perspective into something that I was clearly doing a lot. What is up guys, messy hair here and welcome back to another dose. I am currently editing the 150K q and It's gonna be a banger video, got some funny edits in there, but I wanted to take this time to have a look at my YouTube analytics which told me that in March, people watched my videos 1 million times. How crazy is that? In July of 2019, my two friends from Toronto, Shahen and Babi, they made me a custom mug. They made me a custom mug. That said on it, Karma Medic, 1 million views. And so, only like that's really 
not that long ago, I was at 1 million total views on the YouTube channel. And now I just did 1 million in one month. Oh, I just, I genuinely can't believe it. Like trying to put those numbers into perspective is so difficult for me to do. It's, it's insane. All right guys, just finished the editing of the 150 Q and A. Now I wanna to respond to all the comments that you guys left me on this morning's real time study with me video, the seven hour one. That was an absolute monster to record and edit and upload and everything. I'm happy that's done with, but you guys have left me a cool 182 comments. I am going to start working my way through those and then I should probably get some studying done in the second half of the day because I've spent the whole morning until the afternoon getting the edit for next week's video ready. Hopefully this extremely filled cup of coffee is gonna help me get through it. All right, time to get to work. Hey guys, Karma Medic back here and I've got really messy hair so just gonna wear a hat for this little segment. Anyways, in exciting news, after I did that online article with CBC in Canada, which is the Canadian Broadcasting Centre or company or whatever, I was reached out to by my old university, the University of Toronto, and they said that they wanted to interview me and they wanted to write a piece about me and Karma Medic, how it's helping students get accepted to medical school or how it's helping them study and things like that. So I'm really, really excited. I'm waiting. I think they're going to call me like a couple minutes. I'm really happy that my time in isolation, although like most of the time I'm just sitting here studying for the USMLE, I'm having all of these interesting interesting things sort of interspersed every couple of days. So it's keeping me sane. In the meantime, until they call, how have you guys been? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a lot of days. It's been a, quite some time. The last video that I uploaded was the seven hour long study with me video. And I could have never imagined that you guys would enjoy it as much as you did. It's climbed to the number one spot of the last 10 videos that I've posted in like no time at all. You guys are leaving me wonderful comments on there. It's doing really, really well. So I'm happy you enjoyed it and I'll be sure to do more in the future. All right. Anyway, I'm going to close you guys off and I will open you again when I get the call and I start the interview. I lied, I came back early. They haven't called yet, but my heart is just racing. I don't know why my heart always starts racing before these things, but thankfully I've got Scrubs over here. He's gonna watch over me, keep me company, and tell me all the right things to say. All right, it's time. Hello? Uh, hello, it's Michael Collins from UFC. Yeah, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, talk to you soon. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. All right, all done. That was really fun, actually. You know, I'm, I'm really happy that I was able to do this. Toronto and the University of Toronto definitely holds a very special place in my heart. It was a time of a lot of growth for me. All right, I um, think I'm gonna turn off the camera for now and we're out, peace. In the Q&A video that I uploaded this morning, I asked you guys to help translate my videos. You guys have done translations into Chinese, Greek, Hindi, Russian, and Spanish, which is just so, so, so cool. And then I can click here to review your translation, and it shows me my caption on the left, your translation in your native language, and then the Google translation of this translation so I can check that it's actually what I'm saying over here. I can click publish, and there we go. That video will now have Chinese translations. A big thank you to anyone who's translating my videos. I'm sure it's not easy and it probably takes quite a bit of time, so I really appreciate it and thank you. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me back at my desk and still studying for the USMLE. Today I am starting a chapter that I've been putting off for a very long time, probably the one that I want to do the least in this whole book, and that is biochemistry. Every single time I learn biochemistry, I promise myself I'm never ever learning this thing again. Just, ugh. Like how many times have I learned about the lack operon? Who wants to learn this? No one can commit this to learning. This has to be memorized. Nobody's gonna remember this. This is so dumb. It's an absolute nightmare, but I'm gonna get started. I've got my coffee and my snacks. It's bright and early. It is 9.18. All right, peace. All right, all right. So finished the lecture on purine salvage and de novo synthesis. Not as bad as I thought, and the clinical tie-ins with the syndromes and also the drugs that act at different parts of the pathway help it make a lot more sense. I'm still salty that I have to learn this all over again, but at least there's a heavy clinical focus here as opposed to pure memorization of the pathway itself. Hey there, all you cool cats and kittens. It's me, Carol Baskin. I feel very blessed to be leaving my house right now. I'm just popping down to the corner store to get some cheese because Nora and I are cooking enchiladas tonight. 
Oh. Don't worry, I haven't left the house in like a week. This is the only reason I'm leaving the house to get some food. Honestly, feeling really happy that it's more summertime now. Brighter later on in the day, which just honestly elevates mood so much. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It's been a very, very welcome change from the many, many months of grey clouds and rain that is London. Well, I haven't vlogged outside in a while. This definitely feels a little bit strange. People giving me looks and that, but... It is what it is. Got all my stuff and even got a cheeky Kinder Bueno ice cream to reward myself for all the hard studying I did today. I'm gonna continue studying for the USMLE. I'm currently doing biochemistry, which I probably told you guys yesterday already. It's okay, it's okay. It's just all memorization of pathways and stuff. Look how much I wrote down this morning. I'm over it, guys. I'm over it. Cancel the exam. I don't wanna do it anymore. <laughs> so over it. Anyways, gonna get back to work and I'll catch you in a bit. I've been recording really spontaneously this week. 